Hello, I'm James Leichter, also known as Mr. HVAC. I'm the president of Aptora, the makers of Flat Rate Plus, America's number one flat rate pricing software. In this short video, we're going to show you just how easy it is to use the software and set it up so that you can print your own flat rate books in well under an hour. In fact, it's going to take us about 15 or 16 minutes, even if it takes you six times longer you'll have your own set of flat rate books in about an hour and a half. So let's get started. Flat Rate Plus is very easy to set up and maintain, but it also includes a lot of different features that many of our users probably will never need, or at least not need very often. Before we get started on showing you how to set up the program, let's take a quick look at the file structure so you can see some of the powerful features that are built into the program. We have database, database maintenance features, data exchange features. We have the ability to view database information, print screens and windows. Under reports, we have a lot of different reports in addition to a simple flat rate book. Under utilities, we have a lot of neat utilities here, uh, not the least of which is the quick price changer, which allows you to quickly change the price of an item or a group of items or a category of items. We also have other tools available to you like our labor rate calculator. That allows you to calculate the proper selling price of an hour of labor. So there's a lot of features built into this software program that will be very handy if you would ever need them. But the basic setup as you're going to see will only take you about one hour and you'll be printing your first set of flat rate books. We're going to start out by setting up our company information. From the main menu I'll click File, Company Info. I'll click the yellow button, click Edit, and I'll go ahead and type in an address. You'll want to fill out your company name, address, city, state, zip, telephone number, fax number. Now it's optional but you can also select a company logo if you wish. I'll click the select photo button and I'll navigate to where I have a photo. I have an image here called service van and that will appear on various uh, flat rate reports. Once I've selected it I'll double check my work, click the options button, click update, I'm ready to close the company information form and move on to step number two. Now we're going to set up our department labor rates, set up sales tax, and have a look at our item markups. From the main menu, I'll click Setup and select Department and Labor Rate. You'll notice the form that opens up contains all three tabs, Department, Item Charges, Tax Info. So everything we need to do next is done in one form. I'm going to select the service and repair department. I could double click or click the yellow button and select edit. Here I have the names of all six columns that are available in my technician's flat rate book. If you wish to, you can delete or simply backspace over any of these column names. Leave them blank if you don't want to use those columns or type over them if you wish to change the name of those columns. Again, if you have a look at the flat rate books, you'll notice these are the names of the columns in your flat rate book. These are your hourly rates for those columns. So you see we have a regular rate of 120 an hour. Our regular additional rate is 108. Now that is any repair that we do in addition to the primary repair. So think of this as our first task, regular rate. Each additional task would be regular additional. Of course, the same thing applies if it's during overtime. That would be our first repair, and that would be our second repair, each additional repair. Now, that makes selling additional repairs easier. You also have the opportunity of putting in your estimated hourly wages without benefits or any kind of overhead. So if you pay your technician 20 an hour, you type in 20 an hour. Now, that's really not a very important field. It's simply used to calculate your estimated gross profit margin. Material discounts are here. If you wish to offer some kind of material discount, you can do it here. We're offering a 10% discount for additional repairs. 
10% discount for additional repairs here as well for overtime. We're offering a 15% discount for our preferred customers, those who own a service agreement. And if you own a service agreement and we do an additional repair, your total discount is 25%. In this case, it was 15% off because you own a service agreement and an additional 10% off because it's an additional repair. Trip charges is your diagnostic fee. If you wish to add a flat fee to cover the cost of driving out there and figuring out what's wrong, that would be your trip charge or diagnostic fee. In the HVAC and electrical industries, we would typically call that a diagnostic fee. In the plumbing industry, we would typically call that a trip charge. You can add those charges here, and that will become part of the repair. So once you've put in your labor rates and you're happy with what you see, simply click the Update Department button and move on to the Equipment Installation Department. Now the Equipment Installation Department, I'm using only three of my six columns, so I typed in the words not used, so nobody would confuse why those columns were zero. And I have a preferred rate, a regular rate, an overtime rate, and you notice that we have a retail amount considerably less than the service department. Now, as a general rule of thumb, you should be charging about five times what you pay your service technician. So your service rate should be five times what you're paying your service technician or more. For more information on what to charge per hour, please be sure to see the Quick Start Guide. And also, you might want to use the built-in labor rate calculator that comes with Flat Rate Plus. We have written a software program that should allow you to calculate the proper selling price of your labor. So be sure to use that calculator. When you're finished, click the yellow button, click Update, and your department labor rates are set up. Next, I'll go to item charges. Here you do nothing. We strongly recommend that you simply leave this tab alone. We have carefully, methodically set up these item charges, and unless you are absolutely sure of what you're doing here and why, simply leave this tab alone. Your next step is to set up your sales tax. Click the yellow button, click edit. If your company needs to charge tax on labor, check the tax all labor box and type in the proper rate for sales tax in your area. If you need to charge sales tax on items, again check the box and type in that particular rate. Now when it comes to sales tax on items, you need to determine whether or not sales tax should be calculated based on the retail price, the price you charge the customer, or the direct cost or wholesale cost. Now this is the price that you actually pay for items. Make the proper selection, and when you're done, click the yellow button and click Update. And that is all there is to setting up your department labor rates, your item charges, and your tax information. Now you're ready to move on. Once you have set up your company information, department labor rates, sales tax information, checked out the item markup table, you're now ready to delete or preferably inactivate repair categories that don't apply to your company. To do that, I'm going to click Maintenance and go to Task Categories. I'm going to go ahead and sort by description and using the control key on my keyboard, I am going to select brands of equipment that I do not carry. Now, please keep in mind, when you see a brand name, like for example, Goodman, Lennox, Train, when you see a brand name, we are always referring to installation tasks. We are not referring to repairs. So this, for example, is a York AC and heat pump installation category, not repair categories. So you want to go ahead and select any brand or brands that don't apply to you. And again, I'm using my mouse and I'm holding down the control key on my keyboard. Anything that does not apply to your company, highlight it. 
Once you're finished, you're ready to go ahead and inactivate these categories. At this time, we recommend that you don't delete them. Deleting these categories really won't speed up the software and they won't get in your way. Now, task categories is what appears in your flat rate book. So by inactivating categories that do not apply to us, we are going to make our book a whole lot smaller. All right, I'm ready to click the yellow button. You'll notice one of my selections is inactivate selected categories. Here I'm being warned that I have 26 repair categories selected to inactivate, am I sure? And I'm going to say yes, and they are done. Now I can take another look. If, if, if there's any other category that uh, does not apply to our company, I will highlight those and I will repeat the process. Now you'll also notice item category tab. And this looks very similar, but don't get confused. What you and I were working in just now was task categories, actual tasks. That's what appears in the flat rate book. These are item categories. Inactivating these categories will not make your book any smaller, so don't bother. You don't need to go through here and inactivate these at this time. In fact, many people get carried away, they inactivate things they didn't need to and end up having to bring them back. But when you're ready to inactivate, you repeat the same process. Once you've inactivated your task categories, you can go in and start inactivating individual tasks. So for example, I'm in the atmospheric controls section and I might see thermostats that my company does not sell. I simply go in and select individual thermostats or any other repair that I don't want in my flat rate book. Here I'm inactivating tasks that are related to refrigeration work and maybe you don't do refrigeration. And I'll simply do what I did earlier. I'll click the yellow button. I'll look for the inactivate selection. I'm warned. I'll click yes and I've inactivated tasks. Once the tasks are inactivated, I am ready to preview my report and print my first flat rate book. I'll close the form and we'll do that next. Now we're ready to preview our flat rate pricing book. We're going to click reports from the main menu and you'll notice we have a lot of reports here. What we're going to focus on now is the technician service book. The first thing I want to do is select a report style. Go ahead and pick contemporary one. You can preview the rest of them later, but you do have different styles of reports, different looks, and you also have some other options like printing out a very basic book, a price list, a commission report, a cross-reference or index. Go ahead and leave it on contemporary one. That should be the default. We're going to select the service department. Leave the installation department alone for now. The installation department takes a little more time to set up. You need to go in and put in your own pricing for all serialized equipment. And as the quick start guide points out, and we've said in numerous other places, we want you to get your service book going first. Worry about the installation department later. You have the option of changing the title of your report. You can include whatever data or exclude whatever data you feel is important. In this case, you're probably going to want to accept all of the defaults. The one thing you might not want is inventory item data in your final book. If you're going to print out a draft book to look over, you might wish to go ahead and include the inventory data. But when you implement your flat rate pricing book in the field for real, you probably don't want any of the inventory information there. You also have the ability to include an image in the report. That does take up extra space, and I'm going to choose not to have that image in my report. The preferred savings label talks about the amount of money your customer will save if they own a service agreement. You would change the name from safety and efficiency agreement to whatever you call those agreements in your company. The preferred savings label calculation is right here. I'm checking the box to include that label. And this is the math. Column 4 minus column 5 equals the amount of money that they are going to save. Now, 
In this particular case, regular price is column 1, and the preferred price is column 5. So I'm going to say column 1 minus column 5 represents their savings. I also have the ability to pick a color scheme here, and I'm going to leave the default, color standard 1. At this point, I'm ready to go ahead and preview my report. I'll click the yellow button and I'll click Preview Tech Report. If you ever find yourself stuck in Flat Rate Plus and you're wondering how to do something, maybe you want to change your labor rates, uh, labor time, perhaps you're trying to update pricing on parts, the first thing you might want to do is click Help. Your first selection is Video Help. Click Video Help and you'll notice that we have created a set of videos on how to do most everything in the program. So here you can see we have a video on changing your department and task or item categories, changing the direct cost of an item. So if you want to update item pricing, that's where you would do it. Perhaps you want to edit a department or export your files or change or select a markup table. Maybe you want to update your sales tax. This is where you can see a video on every topic, and there's hours of video created for you right here. So select a video and click the View Video button. If you find that you're having trouble viewing the video, be sure to click the Install Kodak button, and the video should appear normally. In addition to that, you have great online help. If you'll click the contents search option or push F1 on your keyboard you'll notice that we have built a very very comprehensive help system which shows you how to do most everything in the program in addition most of the forms under the yellow button have a video help selection so if you'll click video help here it will launch a video topic or series of topics that are appropriate for that particular form. Now that you've seen Flat Rate Plus demonstrated and you understand the benefits of flat rate pricing, what are you waiting for? We have dozens and dozens and dozens of letters from happy Flat Rate Plus owners. But what's most important, these are happy flat rate users. Seriously, if you don't invest in our flat rate pricing system, invest in somebody else's. Buy somebody's flat rate system now. Don't wait. What people tell us over and over again as I travel the country and teach classes, what they tell me over and over again is I regret not flat rating sooner. You've heard about flat rate pricing. You've known about it for years and years and years. Don't let five or ten more years pass you by in tens of thousands of dollars in wasted profits. Don't let that pass you by. Nobody that we have encountered regrets flat rating. Universally what they tell us is they regret not flat rating sooner. So please call now. Don't wait. Call 877-232 7978 order flat rate plus it's guaranteed to make your company more profitable and make you happy or your money back